I think at the time there was hit and misses with movie tie-in games. Most of them weren't very good. Yeah, I, I once had a licensing meeting in Hollywood, and I was told to wait and you know to talk to this licensing person. And I was sitting there with literally coffee cups and things like that. And I remember <laughs> going, "You think video games are a coffee cup, don't you? Yeah. Like that's you're licensing another coffee cup deal." But Aladdin was the first game where yeah. we had full access to yeah. the creatives at Disney. This was a milestone. I think it proved to the industry if you actually put these video game people in a room with the big talented Hollywood they people, can, they can work together. They can work together and make something amazing. It was so much better than what was expected. Whoa, this game's really good. Honestly, I think Aladdin was just at that it's sort of in a sweet spot where Hollywood was really starting to take this stuff more seriously. So that was kind of one of those those moments when things changed. At the time, when you made a video game, you'd, you'd, you would get some magazine adverts. They'd run some adverts, and that was pretty much all you get. Yeah. And we got it. We once um, got invited to a press launch for Aladdin in Chicago at CES. CES. We were revealing Aladdin at CES, and at the last minute, I decided not to go because I felt like I had too much work to do just to get the game finished. And so I didn't go. I arrived, and the doors open. And, and there is the entire floor is is the cast of Aladdin, like all in costumes and you know people in, in dancing and all the rest of it getting ready. And I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> what is going on here? And, and I go down and I go into this this giant room. Remember, um, Katzenberg, Shinobu, the, the head of Sega of Japan, was there. Katzenberg was on stage. Jeffrey Katzenberg. So, yeah, um, Richard was Branson a, was, was At the there. time, Jeffrey Katzenberg was the president of Disney. But yeah, Incredible. Richard Branson was there, and Tom Kalinske, president of Sega. All the press. It this was, was it. This is a big deal. It was a weird coming moment, because I'd made a lot of games that had, you know, that, that had good brands and things like that, but I'd never seen what happens when you have that level of celebrity lean in, and having Disney, of course, as well. I remember everybody coming back from CES and Aladdin had won like game of the show and like there was all these accolades and I remember uh, Doc mm -hmm. saying he had never been so proud to wear a company shirt than he was at that show walking around with the Virgin shirt and showing Aladdin. So there was like all these accolades and this excitement about the game. It was a really amazing point in, in certainly in my career because I could feel video games were about to become big like this was this wasn't the way it had been for the last 10 or 15 years. This was next level stuff. Come on! It was all happening and there was just a huge like excitement about Disney at the time. I yeah, they could do no wrong. Yeah, right, it was point. just, it was a really, everyone was excited about Disney movies. Jeffrey Katzenberg once called me to ask about working on The Lion King and it was very difficult to say, no, we're not going to do it. Well, we wanted Lion King oh, so Lion badly. King. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, because we got to see a, a special uh, preview of the movie. Flown out to Vegas, uh, oh, Roy nice. Disney was there, Katzenberg was there, it was a big production and we were, you know, were so nervous and the movie came out and I remember uh, Doug was sitting in front of me and I could see tears rolling down his oh, cheek, yeah, it was so you know, so it was very emotional. I regret that to some extent because I think we could have done a, just an astounding job. The people that did handle it were excellent. Westwood, you know, Westwood. Yeah. So, so they did fine. There was no problem. They, they got a great game. I would have enjoyed that experience of getting even closer to Disney and seeing what that would have, where this would have gone. I want to do Frozen from a musical standpoint. Ha having a daughter, I would love to do Frozen. Yeah. That would have been really Imagine good. Imagine all the ice effects and stuff we could do. Fantasia would have been to work in that world with amazing music and the sorcerer Mickey on the mountaintop and conducting the thing. We felt pretty proud of what we had achieved. It was a good looking game. It was fun to play. So I expected it to be successful, but I think it was more successful than any of us could imagine. We just tried to meet the quality standard of the movie as much as we could on that, you know, 16-bit Genesis, just to try and get as much of what the movie was and the, the imagery, follow it as close as possible. It was a perfect little storm of all of those disciplines, design, production, animation, art, you know, even marketing. It was the right property at the right time. 
I think it's just the visual look and the quality of the game. It was it set a new standard. It really was a new benchmark and the animation. The balance between the gameplay with the look, it all was in harmony. Nothing seemed out of place. The music was great. Oh yeah, the music was great. Everything's really at equal bar, you know? It was so fun and, and to see the final product and get it out and to see the reception of it was really exciting. Yeah.